for, with our program. Our next speaker is from Nepal, here to share with us his entrepreneurial journey and how WordPress helped him upgrade from a struggling entrepreneur to a stable WordPress-based agency owner. Let's have Bip Lap Subadi to tell us how he co-founded Eager Vision IT. So, thank uh, Bip Lap, please. Well, good afternoon, Singapore. I'm Biplav. I'm from Nepal. I don't know how many of you are known about this country. Nepal is a very beautiful country, sandwiched between two giants, India and China. And it's also known as the country of Mount Everest and the birthplace of uh, the founder of Buddhism, Lord Buddha. Today, uh, I'm going to speak about my journey, my story, uh, what are the challenges which I faced while starting the startup according to my personal experience and how WordPress helped me to be the stable entrepreneur and some tips. So uh, even we are few over here, uh, I would like to know if anyone, uh, how many of you are entrepreneurs are uh, practicing the startup from last one year or maybe want to be the want to start the startup in future so yeah that will work <laughs> uh, well being an entrepreneur so what is the general perception perception of entrepreneurship it's a uh, cool awesome amazing right we might think oh like I'm doing something something of my own, so I have a freedom, and you have a good good prestige in the community. So people call you entrepreneur. Actually, being an entrepreneur is not the complex job. You just need to do two things. First thing, register the company, and second thing, go to the print house and design the visiting card. Right. So, but. The most difficult thing is to be the stable entrepreneur. Well, we have we used to read a lot of blogs. Uh, some say nine out of ten small business get failed. Some says eight out of ten small business get failed. But according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, 2016, about 20 percent of small business fell in the first year, about 50% of the small business fell in their fifth year and approximately one third will survive 10 years or more. Whatever the number may be, uh, the number may vary in several countries, but uh, definitely, so entrepreneurship is all about hard work, focus, patience, learning from the mistakes, and uh, ready to face all the adversities, all the challenges which might come across our journey. So let me start with my story. I completed my engineering graduate uh, on 2009. So I remember my first day of work is 2009, May 4. And I started as the PHP programmer. After working for uh, like two and a half years, me and some of my university classmates, we, uh, we started our own company and we thought, okay, so now we have our company, we'll soon be a millionaire, uh, something like that. But uh, there, there is other stories in the other side of the coin because all we, ha we were five partners at that time and all were from the technical background, so we didn't have any knowledge of how to run the company. We were actually good at coding after some experience, but we didn't know how to run the company or how to run the business. So information technology is one of the booming business in the world. Everyone thinks, oh, this is, this is the business where there is money. But the thing is, uh, even, even uh, 
thousands of jobs get posted in several freelancing sites, several magazines. Uh, uh, there are a lot of jobs created every day in this industry. There are 10 times more service providers who are, who are waiting to get the job. So it's something like the perfect competition market uh, where there are something like where there are a lot of fish in the ocean, but there are even more number of skilled fishermen waiting for the fish. So it's a big market, but there are, there are many challenges in this industry. And uh, if you live in the third world country like Nepal, uh, the problem is uh, people are not actually aware of the boon of information technology. The government still doesn't incorporate uh, the digital uh, digital market or the digital strategy. So uh, there are even more challenges. So first thing, first challenge is what we faced is uh, we were completely unknown about the scenario. As I told you all, all were, uh, already, uh, we were good at coding, but uh, we don't uh, know anything uh, more. So we were completely lost and uh, what to do. So first, first, first challenge was to find the job. And uh, we tried a lot. We, we succeed to find some job uh, in the local market because uh, it was difficult to to extend to the international market in the initial days. So we try our local connection, our friends, families, network, and uh, try to convince, pitch them for our service. Okay, let's make a website, let's make the application. Uh, maybe your school needs say, small uh, um, database management system. Maybe your business house need, uh, need a small website. So we, we try to get some job. And uh, we, we found some job also, and we uh, hired some staff also. Uh, and another problem which we faced is, uh, uh, honestly saying, to collect the payment, because it was we who who were uh, who, who went to the people for the job. It was not them who give us the job. So uh, it was really difficult. Um, I still remember those days where uh, we need to go, uh, like I, I uh, drive one hour from my motorbike and to the big corporate house and uh, wait for the small bunch of payment, go to several departments, legal department, account department, and return back with the small money. You know, like, they used to pay our money in milestone, not, not when the project is uh, in the development phase, but after the completion of the project. So that was the challenge which we faced. And, uh, and so we were completely lost on the scenario for the first few months. And slowly, slowly, we started getting, oh, okay, so this is the market. So this is the perception of people. This is uh, how people think. The people, they don't give job easily. They think 10 times, you know. Uh, so this was the first challenge which uh, we might face in the initial days of the startup. And the second challenge was managing the human resources. So we had some staffs. And uh, we we couldn't succeed succeed uh, to stop them from distraction to st to stop them from from using social media. We didn't succeed to uh, motivate them actually. So uh, this is really tough task. And the technical boys like us, uh, it was uh, you know something uh, we were completely failing managing the human resource. So. I think this is very important thing. If we uh, are planning to start the startup, uh, we must do some research or we must at least have some t uh, management related person who can manage the human resource because this is a very difficult thing. And uh, yeah, we tried freelancing then, but we didn't have much portfolio in our bucket. So nobody gives you a job without experience, you know? So it was also tough in the first, first days. Then, then, then the scenario came. We say, okay, let's. Let, I mean, we are tired of uh, our employees using social media. We are tired of the market. Okay, let's stop this. Let's make the product. So we plan for three products because we were the developers. So we made we made three products at that time. One was the email marketing application. One was, uh, I think, the hotel booking online booking system. 
Uh, one was the uh, CMS uh, specialized for uh, the Lions Clubs International website. And uh, we made the product. They were a good product. Then after developing the product and after going to the market, we, we found we didn't have any marketing skills to sell our product. Oh, so what to do? And the server costs, the operating costs of those products were so high, we have to close them all within six months of time because we need for the email marketing application, uh, you might know, I mean, we need a big server, a big op operating cost. So, so we completely failed in our product also. Now, the good part of story will come slowly. Then, uh, so when we started from, an, uh, from an two th uh, the, our company in 2011, one of our director, uh, director approached, okay, let's use WordPress for making the website. And I remember I was that person who protested against using WordPress in the meeting. I said, ah, uh, don't use another CMS. So we can make our own sim simple CMS suit suitable for our com company. And uh, I attend the WordPress WordCamp Nepal. That is why I have so much respect on this WordCamp thing. So I first attend the WordCamp uh, Nepal in 2012. Then it opened my eye. I said, oh God, what did I do? This is such a powerful thing. I was completely wrong. So then, then we suddenly, uh, then we suddenly decided to incorporate WordPress in our company, and things started going good slowly, slowly, slowly. So, once we started WordPress, personally, I code one word WordPress website, me and uh, uh, one of my another partner who were more into uh, coding. We did only one website. Since then, we never got time to code the full project in WordPress. So this is such a beautiful thing. So we started getting many works and uh, it's very easy. Uh, the most important thing is the power of uh, themes and plugins. Before, before incorporating WordPress, we used to do work in a PHP coordinator, Kick PHP, Gen Framework. Um, so, before, if the client wants to make the e-commerce site, we code them. Okay, uh, maybe it will take around uh, 200 hours. The e-commerce system. We have to make shopping cart, uh, attributes management, uh, category management. Uh, you know, inventory, a big thing, like uh, two, three hundred hours is good hours for this. So, but, but since we have WooCommerce, things gets very, I mean, things gets done very easily. There are a lot of plugins, there are a lot of themes, which uh, for the development agency, they are the, they are something, you know, we can pitch clients in the very less price and the less budget. So it's very easy to get work for us. The plugins like WooCommerce and Visual Com Composer are the true gem to the agency like us. So this is one of the key. So another another factor is the documentation and the client's priority. Uh, we, I mean, it's very easy to jump on WordPress if you are a programmer or uh, something, or even if you are non-technical person, it's very easy. So we, we got very nice documentation on uh, Codex or many other websites. We have like ample support forums uh, uh, regarding WordPress, big community, and uh, you know the like, clients love WordPress. So it was very easy for us uh, when we talk about the people. Uh, okay, you're doing on WordPress, yeah. Okay, then so they love WordPress. They love WordPress so much, even more than developers. So I remember some some uh, some of my memory. Like sometimes we 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 update the work to the client and uh, when we come back to office tomorrow we say uh, the new thing in the in the in the url and uh, they said ah, i was trying several themes and you know i was installing this plugin oh man <laughs> so this is uh, the clients just love wordpress they are trying a lot of things with themes plugin even sometimes they are more sometimes we find them more genius than even us 
So when we are searching for something, they say, ah, can, you, can, you, can you check this plugin? This works actually. So, and uh, yeah. So things started going good after then. And uh, we have, uh, we have uh, successfully uh, made a very good team and we have successfully made uh, clients and um, like WordPress give me the working platform, WordPress give me friends, WordPress give me mentors, uh, uh, community, and also WordPress give me the opportunity to speak in front of you amazing person right now. So like WordPress give me many things personally. Uh, so I always have a big respect on WordPress. Uh, so now we have a agency, uh, um, Eagle Vision IT, where uh, there are like more than 20 developers, uh, including project manager, uh, programmers, front-end developers, uh, QA engineers. Uh, and um, so uh, in our company, more than 90% of the job we do in WordPress and like some 10%, some enterprise level work or some big applications uh, we use, uh, we currently use Node.js and CI. So we are also running this uh, uh, theme development uh, department, uh, eVision themes, where we are uh, making several WordPress free and premium themes. Uh, we have our uh, CEO of eVision themes, Bhuvan, over there. Can you raise your hand? Thank you. Uh, so he actually gave me a company to come here. And so we did diver diversification in the uh, several other countries so we have now eagle vision it sweden eagle vision it uk so we have our sales office there and we actually do uh, creative design and uh, qa work in our sales office also in order to match the flavor of the local people of that respective country uh, so and we are uh, extending our company to many other countries in recent days so uh, this is how WordPress actually helped us to be the stable entrepreneur. Now, I wanted to share one another thing because this is also very crucial for those who wants to uh, uh, do the startup or who wants to be the entrepreneur. So, I remember one story. Uh, so, uh, it was like maybe around on 2013 or something like that. Um, my mom used to force me, come on, you must you must uh, continue your education because I was the computer engineering graduate in 2009, so I haven't uh, pursued my higher education uh, because I was struggling in this thing and uh, I have a lot of things in mind. And my mom used to push me, go, go, go to the college. You must go to the college because in Nepal, they ask, okay, uh, what is the education level of your son? And you know, for marriage, for many other things, like parents used uh, once their uh, son and daughters, we have higher education, something like that. And I said, ah, no, mom, I, I, I'm enough with, with my study. I want to focus more on my work. And um, uh, like she was, she was giving me a lot of pressure. So I eventually uh, found a college to pursue uh, MBA. Uh, and there was the college where I can study in the morning time, so my work would not be hampered. So I went to the MBA, I joined MBA college. Uh, to make my mom happy, actually, but uh, but eventually, within the short span of time, I found that was one of the best step I did because I found the classes very interesting. So the we used to do, we used to uh, do the case study of several several companies and and I found oh yeah 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 that is the same problem I was facing oh my god this is amazing. So, I actually my eyes is open. Oh, this is very crucial thing. This is very important thing to run the business. So, a lot of the lessons actually reflect the problems, the real problems of my company because I was practicing the entrepreneurship in the same same time, and uh, uh, it was like uh, I'm so happy with that decision. I even I. Thank my mom, a lot of times, mom, thank you very much for your pressure. So the subjects like human resource management, operation management, uh, uh, maybe economics, marketing, entrepreneurship, you know, 
uh, they are so much important uh, for anyone to run business. There can be some ex uh, exception. Somebody says Steve Jobs was the high school, uh, no. But everyone are not Steve Jobs or Bill Gates. So we <laughs> we must. Uh, um, so it, it is very important. This management knowledge is very very important because without management knowledge, I didn't know how to how to do the performance appraisal of the employees. I didn't know how to market the products. I didn't know how to uh, maintain the good working environment in the company. So I didn't know many things. I have not idea of the proper resource management and I would not have the idea of global expansion which we are doing currently. So I urge everyone who is the technical person if you want to do the start uh, your own company at least you must have either i mean make some partners with the management skill or either pursue the, uh, your education in the management so uh, now i would like to give give some some few uh, tips so these tips i have not uh, i mean copied from anywhere these are the tips which uh, i'm saying from my own personal experience the first thing is don't give up so there are a lot of scenarios when we practice entrepreneurship we have to face a lot of scenarios I mean it might not be everyone's case some might uh, cross that barrier very easily but for the majority of people it's actually I mean we have to be ready to face many adversities I face many things like we sometimes replace all the employees even uh, coming to this uh, point Eagle Vision IT uh, we have I have changed three companies even in entrepreneurship so first companies we were some partners uh, so uh, like things didn't get out so we f found another team so a lot of things sometimes I used to say oh I, I was having a very good life I mean I was a good programmer good coder uh, I mean I used to work uh, in a good company as a project manager before starting my entrepreneurship and I used to work uh, even for the company of UK uh, four or five hours uh, in the evening getting good money and s jumped to the entrepreneurship failed many times so sometimes uh, my parents they never forced me but sometimes the society my friends say okay come on man your life is completely changed so there, there were a lot of scenarios sometimes I even lacked the money to have a, uh, a medium lunch so a lot of things happen but uh, I never give up so if I give up that day now uh, I might not be speaking here or uh, you know now this day this would, would not have come so we should never give up whatever happens we have to be focused we have to do uh, the hard work we have to have the patience and uh, if you want to be the uh, entrepreneur if you want that satisfaction of uh, uh, giving employment to other people never give up that is my first tip second so we must have a very good balance between customers and employees so there has been a lot of problems uh, even in uh, my life or I have seen uh, many of my friends having this problem most of the companies the startups uh, I'm talking about start startup because uh, startup don't know uh, much of the things uh, like big companies they have experts they have many people so for the startup uh, most of the startup think like customers are the god yeah definitely customers are the god we must satisfy them we must n we have we, we we should never compromise on the quality we must make them happy but in order to make customers happy many companies are actually exploiting their employees I've seen in many companies for example sometimes uh, there's a weekend and your customers say, oh there is a problem I mean, uh, I mean there, there is this work I must finish today I, mean, I don't have any option and then we call employees bro please come 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 to the work this is origin this that is I'm like it is a weekend they are spending time with their family so the employees are not happy so I saw a lot of scenarios where uh, the companies fail to uh, balance uh, between the customers and employees, but we should always focus employees, we should always prioritize, prioritize employees equal to the customers. Because 
if we couldn't succeed to have the balance between customers and employees, we can never make our business stable because employees are also the integral part of the family. They are the one who uh, actually make your uh, customers happy. And uh, if they are happy, you can always deliver the quality work, productive work, and the happy work. So, success and planning. Uh, normally, uh, in information technology industry, we used to have a huge employee turnover because because they want to. I mean, developers are. Uh, IT professional gets bored working in one company for two, three, four years. And normally, we, we can see a lot of um, employee turnover, in, especially in, in our industry. So uh, we also should not expect like our employees will be with us for 10 years, 15 years. So there might be ex exception, but they also wanted to be to start their one maybe in the future, or they want to do you know, anything can happen. So the problem in companies when like two or three of their major developers uh, left the job, then it's very difficult to maintain the smooth to maintain the flow. So we always have to do the success and planning. So what we used to do in our company currently is we used to hire in interns in a regular interval of time. So we go to colleges, we found the good people, and uh, we we hire them at least during the contract of a few years. So first few months, so they started knowing the working structure of the company. And so if we, if you hire someone from uh, internship, they also have uh, more citizenship towards the country or they, act, uh, sorry, towards the uh, company. So they actually love the company. So they feel like so this is the company which, which, which is grooming me. So uh, this is very important thing, uh, success and planning. So if you, if we uh, succeed to have the proper success and planning, our working standard will never be uh, violated so we will we can al always ensure the, the good working standard uh, in the company and uh, the last one so it's not always about profit because if we are starting the company we are not running the 100 meter race so we are actually there for the marathon so we have to run our company for 10, 15, 20, or uh, whatever, like lifelong, how much we, we could. So if we think of the short term profit, we might lose many things. So yeah, profit is one of the integral part of the company. Uh, without profit, company cannot run. For, for, for the sake of uh, the long term uh, run of the company, we have to compromise some time. For example, uh, there was one case uh, a year back. Uh, we we did the website for the popular hairdressing company in Stockholm. So they gave us the theme, and uh, our developers they they coded the website. Everything was good. But when we uh, sub when the developers submitted the website to QA department, QA department uh, complained about the speed of the website. So we tried to optimize the website, but we couldn't do the proper optimization due to the heavy theme they provided. And so we learned, ah, oh, so we must have research about the structure of the theme before development. So we decided, okay, let's make the website one second from the scratch. Let's not use the theme. So how much it will cost? Uh, maybe like another 100 hours? Okay, let's do it. Because, so if we give that website to that client, maybe he, he might not be happy with the speed and things. So. We don't see profit. Okay, we lost. We lost in that case, uh, but uh, we actually succeed to give him uh, the very optimized website. And uh, I remember he recommended uh, two or three other uh, clients to for our company. So uh, this is just an example. So there are a lot of situations where we have to think. Okay, where we have to think. Okay, if I do this, I will lose the quick money. So if I if I take this step, maybe. I might uh, have a shortage of money for this month. So we always have to think for the long, long, long run. Okay, if I do this, what will happen? If I do this, will it be helpful for my sust sustainability? So it's not always, always about profit. If we are the entrepreneur, there are a lot of other things we have to care of. We have to take care of the company environment, uh, 
uh, we have to give uh, like several refreshment to the uh, employees to make them happy we have to ensure the the high quality for our clients uh, it might cost more hours than ex expected sometimes so we have to think many other things so we have to create that balance uh, of uh, profit and quality and working environment uh, in order to in order to achieve the successful company in long run so these are the references thank you for all these websites for the amazing pictures and uh, so this is all about my talk. Thank you very much. You can reach me on Twitter and Biplop43. And if you have any questions, I'm ready to answer. Anybody have questions for Mr. Biplop? Yeah, please. As you mentioned, you went through many very difficult situations. Um, how did you, like, is there any method that you use um, how to deal with stress or certain situations where you have no idea how you're going to overcome it? Uh, yeah, that's a very good question. And so e exactly, we have to go through several situations like financial, uh, financial problem, mental stress, so I think for the mental stress, um, um, actually I always believe in partnership model of business. So I was never a sole, solo entrepreneur. Uh, I was always with my partners. So if we, if we have friends, very good friends uh, as a partner of the company, uh, even the big problems, uh, I mean the, the stress of that big problems is divided to all the uh, partners and like, Okay, so we have the team. Uh, we can we can find out the way to 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 overcome this uh, adversity. So one one idea can be uh, uh, can be to at least to have few partners with you who can who can uh, with whom you you can share your difficult time, uh, good time. Also, sometimes we I mean sometimes uh, we get the big money, we get the big project. Okay, no, so it's very weird, you know. Okay, how to how to celebrate that joy alone. So I think one idea is uh, try to have good friends in your business. And another idea is, uh, I don't know, you might get in, uh, interested or not, but I actually believe in uh, yoga and meditation. So they are, they are very powerful to release the stress. Definitely, even these days, uh, the stress uh, never ends. Even if you become the successful entrepreneur you have a lot of challenges a lot of a lot of things to do so i think it's very good if we at least steal 10 minutes of our uh, time every day and do some yoga and meditation thank you thank you mr bib lab uh, maybe there is another question okay uh, <laughs> uh, okay uh i think i listened to your um like sharing right i noticed that um uh, Based on your experiences, you have, uh, of course, <coughs> there's always a business experience, like you say, right? So, like, I think, are you, do, you, do you think that there's a way to manage the risk? Because I think you have a lot of experiences already, right? Do, are you getting better at managing the risk of your business? And then how would you suggest to manage uh, business risk? Business risk, yeah. right? Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, in business, there is always the risk, but, uh, yeah, uh, in this information technology industry, th there is a risk of uh, losing the client. There is the risk of uh, losing, another big risk is losing the good employee. So uh, it's all about experiences. So definitely there are a lot of other, se uh, other sessions. So uh, to, uh, to address the risk of lo losing client, I think we must be very good at communication with them. So we must be crystal clear on um, on our uh, communication thing. So how we deal with them. So we must never lie them. We have to be very honest. Sometimes people actually understand the problem of uh, the development agency. So we say, okay, so this is a problem. So we have to be. Ve we must have very good communication. So we must be very honest, and we must 
be able to generate the feeling to them that this is the trustworthy agency they are really honest sometimes the mistakes can be happen by anyone but they are someone which i can trust so this is how we can retain the client and uh, uh, the risk of losing employees is also very vital for that we have to we have to uh, think of uh, i mean there are a lot of strategies uh, but uh, uh, we have to make sure the employees are having the good time working in a company so they are actually i mean we have to check their face okay are they are they happy or are they like looking their uh, was okay oh, when will the office time be over and i'll go so we have to make them happy so for that we have to uh, talk with them uh, and we have to uh, for the for motivating the employees uh, we have to allocate them the work which matches their skills and interests so if we give them the work uh, uh, which doesn't match their skill and interest they will get demotivated so also we have to trust them we have to give them more responsibilities so sometimes we have to say okay bro now i think you are doing this thing very good can you uh, try to step away to do the little bit complex project don't worry bro i'm with you i trust you and there is another senior person to help you if you uh, if, if if you are in trouble so we have to grow them we have to feel them like our family so i we actually care our employees a lot so we tell them okay bro this is not the like boss or employees um, thing just treat me as a brother feel me as your own brother if you have any problem share with me so i think uh, we have to uh, show them a great 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 care so that the employee will retain for the long time thank you very much thank you very much Maybe thank you mr bit one uh, I think we hold the questions to uh, afterwards because of yeah. time. Yeah, sure. So if you have any more questions, we can always talk. Thank you very much for listening to me.